With the number of elderly people increasing at a fast pace, President Yoon vowed to triple the number of public retirement homes per year and pledged lower medical fees as he met citizens today for discussion. Our presidential office correspondent Kim do reports. South Korea's rapidly aging population will see more than a quarter of the country's people being over the age of 65 by 2030, according to government estimates. And with many of them needing support after retiring, President Yoon pledged to prioritize their care with affordable retirement homes and the lowering of medical costs. This came on Thursday in a policy discussion with citizens on this topic, which was held in Wonju, Gangwon-do province. Specifically, Yoon said the supply of public retirement homes, which is currently increasing at the rate of 1,000 annually, will go up to 3,000. In addition, since public retirement homes were only available for rent starting in 2015, the government will roll back this policy, allowing them to be purchased. A project called Silver Stay was also announced. This is a retirement town project with comprehensive services that will be privately run with support from the government. During the discussion, participating senior citizens also emphasized the importance of having meals with their compatriots. Yoon pledged that more senior citizen centers would offer healthy meals for the local elderly. The president also heard from one resident who showed his gratitude to the government for giving him the opportunity to participate in senior citizens' exercise classes. As for medical support, Yoon pledged to expand at-home medical care, raising the number of long-term home visit centers to 250 nationwide. And for critically ill patients, the cost for home visits by doctors will be reduced to around half of the current 38,000 Korean won, or about $28. As he was in Wonju, Gangwon, the province, a region that focuses on medical equipment, he laid out ways to provide even more support for the industry. For this, he said better transportation will be available with the upcoming GTX D line, while local public education will be encouraged to foster local talent in the field. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.